today, I'd like to walk you through how I use Adobe Photoshop to sketch on a Microsoft Surface. To give you a little background, around 20 years ago, I was in architecture school at University of Arizona, and for my thesis project, I created a uh, prototype of a tablet computer that was meant for an architect as a design tool. And fast forward to today, I work for Microsoft as an evangelist, I work with Adobe, and I want to show you how I've used Adobe Photoshop to sketch. Uh, in this case, I was in Sydney, Australia, and I took a, a, a surface out with me um, around by the harbor, and I did some sketching, and I wanted to show that to you. And then I'd like to show you how I have used Photoshop for sketching. So to start with, um, I've done a number of sketches, and uh, this one, of course, is well, is a St. Mary's Cathedral in Sydney. This is the Sydney Harbor Bridge, and in front of it, the Sydney Opera House. And here is Sydney Opera House. I did all of these using uh, using Photoshop, using a very uh, small color palette, and uh, and sketching with a pen, you know, the pen that comes with the Microsoft Surface. This is a Surface Pro Three, and so. The way I use it is I use to Photoshop, and I'll start off with a print document. And in this case, I've created my own template. The template for the print document that I use is a 11, uh, 11 uh, inch wide by 8.5 inch high, uh, 300 uh, pixels per inch. And I give it a background color. Uh, in this case, I give it a, a slight beige background color. And... Uh, with that background color, I can then create something that has a uh, that I can use white and black and other colors with it. And what I do also is I go to the Windows menu, I go to the workspace, and I set up the painting workspace. And the painting workspace reduces the UI to give you basically the swatches and the brushes and also the layers. So what I'll start with is I'll start with the layers, and I'll give it myself a um, I'll start off with a sort of a skeleton layer. In this layer, I'm just going to draw the uh, the basics of my uh, of my drawing. Let's just say I'm doing the Sydney Harbor Bridge, not the Sydney Harbor Bridge. Let's say the uh, Sydney Opera House. I drew this quite a few times, so I get the idea of it. So what I've done is I've made basically the skeleton of what my drawing is going to be. And that's just on one layer, so that if I look at that layer, I can always turn it off. I can turn it off, but I can also add another layer. And so I will make sure that, for example, if I mess up on this layer or do something that I don't like, I, <laughs> I don't have to worry about it. I can also take three fingers and undo that or redo. So that's the cool thing about Photoshop is I can take three fingers and do a gesture to do and undo. But I'm not going to really add any detail. This is just sort of think, imagine this. This is the shape of the drawing. The next thing I'm going to do is add one more layer. And this is where I'm going to do most of my drawing. So I might grab this little blue. And I might want to take some blue to make a uh, sky. I can take two fingers and pinch to zoom. I can zoom in at a certain area. Then I can also take some white, and this is what I really like about using a toned background. Is that I can make a background <coughs> And I can make the white sort of pop out. And then I can take a little black. And I can add black to it as well. And what you can start to see here is that you can make a drawing in it and be very expressive with it and really use uh, Photoshop for 
a very small portion of what Photoshop can really do. Uh, Photoshop is probably one of the most powerful uh, image editing tools out there and one, probably one of the most widely used. But I'm using just a very small subset of the functionality here to do a drawing that in this case is a very simple drawing. I can zoom in a little bit with my two fingers. And zoom out. And then it starts to get much more interesting because I can then start using this as a computer to zoom in and zoom out and add a little highlighted detail. I can change my brushes to use a more interesting brush, but add a little more texture to that. And that's what you start to get to see is that a drawing that you can draw with with the expressiveness of a pen and paper or a journal or a sketchbook, but also have the power of a computer to be able to zoom in and out and have a great set of uh, brushes that you could work with, all in the power of a computer that I could then take an image, create it, save it, share it to my, uh, save it to my, uh, to my Creative Cloud library or save it to a OneDrive or anywhere else or even share it on Facebook. Take a look at the... Uh, the Behance portfolio that I put up of these drawings, and I'll put the link in here.